Hey everyone, welcome back to the SQL data series by the Data Mom. So uh, in today's video, we are going to cover a tricky SQL uh, question which is asked in a lot of interviews. Uh, when you sit for any data science or data analyst interviews, SQL is a very important part and uh, although it's not that difficult to crack, but there are a few tricky points that you need to, you know, have a practice of before you sit for any interviews. And for that only, we have created this series, this, this playlist wherein you can, uh, you know, find all type of interview questions. Uh, but before that, I suggest you cover, you also cover the basics of SQL. And for that, we have um, a few videos uh, before. So we are going step by step. First, we have covered the basics. Then we have practiced those basics. And after that, we have dived into solving interview questions. Some are simple, some are hard, some are tricky. All you need to do is, you know, map out your approach and have a understanding of how you need to, uh, you know, approach these questions. Basically, it's not that difficult to crack. So let's see our question for today and how we are going to solve it. this this is one of the questions which has been asked in an interview so let's see what our question is for today we have our table orders okay we have a table named orders wherein we have six attributes that is the id customer id order date order quantity order cost and order details so i have a uh, populated it with some test value and let me just show you our table first so we know what we are dealing with all right i'll run this and we have our table with us we have eight values the customer ids order date order quantity cost and details and if you see uh we have taken order date in the timestamp format only which is the date date time values uh, but it could have been in any other, uh, you know, format as well. It could have been an integer data type or text data type or whatever. But I'll but I'll show you how you can, you know, if it it would have been in some other value, how would you have been converted it to the timestamp value? Because that you'll need in the question. You'll know why. So let us first see what our question is and how we need to solve it. All right. So our question is to calculate total revenue. Okay, this is our first part, total revenue. This you can solve pretty easily. I'm very sure you can easily calculate total revenue. What will be the total revenue? The order cost into the order quantity, right? That will give you the total revenue as simple as that. So this was an easy part. You can, you can understand that. But the next part of the question is in March, for East customer. Although the question is very simple, the hard part is extracting the month March from the data set. Now, this is a small data set. You can easily extract March, but it could have been like, instead of eight, it could have been 800 or 8,000 values. And for that, you need to find just, just the revenue for the month of March. It could be a little tricky to get that. But, but we are going to do that and we are going to do that in a very easy way. And the last part of the question is of course to sort results based on revenue from highest to lowest. So this is what we need, right? So your first approach to the question should be, let us uh, first, you know, work upon extracting the month March. And for that, we'll use the extract function. SQL extract function is used to separate field name from the value. I'll show you how you can do that. So this is the main and the trickiest part of the question and we are going to solve it right now. And after that, pretty easy for you to, you know, crack the entire question. So what we are going to do is select star from orders now comes our condition where because this is the main part where it lies in the month march for that how you are going to write the query you'll use the function extract as i mentioned it is used to uh, separate a field name from the value all right so we what what field do we need that what what field do we need we need the month field right because we need to separate march so i'm writing month here extract month so uh, 
uh, yeah extracting month from what value our order date value obviously subtracting month from order date then as I said because this value could could have been an integer or string you will convert it into timestamp to uh, be on a safer side so timestamp function returns date time value if you see we got the date and we got the time as well so we are extracting month from order date converting it to timestamp and what this should be equal to this month should be equal to 3 March is the third month right so this month should be equal to 3 now extract function as I said it can basically extract any value from this particular attribute so our attribute has month year month date and it has hours minutes and seconds also so if I wanted to find just uh, you know the the um, revenue on particular date like third date so I would have written it date here if I wanted some other you know on particular of particular year revenue of a particular year so I would have mentioned year here right but I need it for month so that is why I'm writing month and I'm selecting it from order date I'm converting it to I'm uh, we are doing a runtime conversion here we have talked more more about it in the previous video so you can go through that once so we are time uh, runtime this is th this operator is basically used for runtime conversion and we are converting it to timestamp which is the date time value and we are setting the value to 3 so this should basically extract me the march basically the all the all these uh, values from the month of march we haven't solved the question yet we have just extracted all the values from the month of March. So if you see the order date here, it is 4th March, 1st March, 4th March, 10th March, right? This was the main tricky part of the question. I think rest you can easily solve, which is to calculate the revenue. So how we'll do that? Um, we'll just write, say, select okay I'll, I'll treat this as my sub query only we'll treat this as our sub query so I'm going to write select we don't need all the columns so I'm just selecting particular column like select customer customer ID sorry customer ID order date all right then we need the revenue so we are going to use the aggregate function sum and what we do we need the sum of to calculate revenue you will obviously multiply order cost star order quantity and we will get the sum, sum of that to get the revenue and we will also give this a alias name revenue right from orders now comes our now comes our where condition where we extract the month march then we are going to group by order date otherwise it will show you an error you need to group by by order date and say we'll also group this by customer ID because these are the unique values that we are getting in the query and then of course the last part of the question which says you need to order by revenue revenue the value that we got from this particular query revenue but in descending order the, otherwise it would have already sorted it in ascending order but as we need to go from highest to lowest we are using the DES so this should be our query to uh, get the required results let us run this and see if we are getting the value all right so we got the value uh, so we have grouped by customers and order date the, right because uh, 
that is that were the values we need to consider and we have got the revenue for those particular ids uh, we have got the order dates also from you know particular date now if you have if you would have noticed our uh, previous table had four values wherein uh, this first of march was two times actually but we now that we have ordered it so we have got the actual total revenue from the entire four columns and this is what we needed to calculate the total revenue in march and that is what we have got right so i hope uh, the question was pretty uh, simple to understand you just need to map out your approach to solve any question like this just go step by step uh, the tricky part was to get the values in March and for that we have learned the extract function, the timestamp function and this operator which is a runtime conversion. Other than that it was I guess pretty much simple. You could have easily calculated the total revenue and get the answer. So this was one of the questions which was asked in uh, a recent interview. So if you notice the questions are not very difficult to crack. You just need to uh, get the tricky part of the question, solve it and yeah, you are in. So this was it for the video. Uh, keep practicing, keep learning and we'll be coming up with more such questions in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned and have a good day.